Hey guys, it's Rob Schneider, the Inky Brick Picker, bringing you a haul. It's been a little while. Um, been pretty busy and chaotic with a lot of things. You notice I've uh, been slowly trying to get some more um, stack ons. Of course, uh, I need to organize the shelving unit over there. Um, I'm going to get some modular drawers to kind of throw in here and try cleaning all this up because I got like box sets and poly bags and packing materials and used Legos I got to go through and I'm slowly getting a uh, little collection right here that I got to start trying to go through. A lot of projects on the plate trying to get through but uh, went to Walmart. Uh, been doing the Walmart clearance thing. I was a little, uh, fix my laptop here. A little late in the game. I threw a whole bunch of my train stuff on eBay and finally sold it. I hate eBay because they won't release your money right away. It takes several weeks. It's a pain in the butt. Um, but I picked up a couple of things. So I picked up the, uh, cargo truck. They had it for 30 bucks. So I actually picked up, uh, Two of these, which I'll use in my city layout. I was hoping to have more because then I would have parked some out too, but they only had two. Like I said, it was late in the game. Kind of stinks. So I picked up two of those, which I'll use in the city because I want to build a warehouse. And I uh, picked up the driving boat. I ended up getting this one for 15 so I picked up uh, two of them, which I'll use for the, my city. Most city stuff is what I got. I did pick up a uh, Star Wars A Fighter for 17 bucks. I might hold on to this. I might part it out. It depends if I pick up any more of them. So I don't think I have this one. My son does the Star Wars stuff. I do the city. So I got to see if he has it or not. But I did pick something else up for him. Because he's been wanting it. Which is the... Uh, the uh, Rainco Pit for the uh, Jabba the Hutt Palace. So I picked up one of these. Um... I have to go back to Walmart because Walmart has the Jabba Palace, the, um, uh, J not the palace, the barge, the ship, the ship he's in. I, I can't remember the actual name of it. I don't know why I'm blanking, but, uh, my Walmart has them on clearance for 79 bucks and they have like 10 of them. So I might pick those up, part them out. Cause I know the part out is, uh, was it 169 or something like that? So it's like about two times the amount. But I'm definitely keeping one. So that means we literally had everything for Java. The palace, the pit, we have the barge, we have the little uh, Luke Skywalker one when he's jumping, you know, they're throwing him in the pit. So I'm going to do probably a whole, like, scene because I got a whole bunch of uh, desert base plates for it. Now, at this Walmart, I was in there and I found this set. 3181. It was, I think, $25 I spent on this. I don't think there was a price tag. But I looked it up. I'm like, that's kind of, that kind of looks like an old style design plane. I looked it up on Bricklink. Um, brick set. It was like, what is it? Retired four years ago. And I found it on the shelf. So I'm like, snag it. So I grabbed it. And then, uh, so that was the Lego haul over the weekend. And then I went back there because more of my eBay stuff clearance. So I went back there to go pick up more stuff. And um, they put all the clearance stuff in storage. I looked at the guy. I'm like, where's all the clearance toys? You guys had a whole bunch of them. Because they had a whole bunch more Star Wars stuff I wanted to pick up and uh, part out. And he's like, oh, well, we have no place to put the clearance stuff because our store is too small. So we threw it in storage. I'm like, okay, is I know exactly what set I need. Oh, it's locked up. We can't get to it. I'm like, okay, so when's the clearance stuff going out? He's like, beats me. So I'm sitting here. I'm like, that's probably the reason why. Because this is the third time I found an old set at this 
a Walmart because the last one was was I found this one. Last one was the Space Police Cruiser, which I still got packed in a box somewhere. And then um, the Recycling Center. And every time I kept finding these, it's like the set's been retired for like two, three, four years. So I think what happens, they throw this in, they, they have like a separate storage, you know, those storage containers all outside. I think they throw them in there and then they totally forget about them. And then probably they're cleaning them out. It's like, oh, wait, we got a couple of Legos in here. We need to throw these out on the shelves. So every single, at least once a year, I find an old retired set that's been retired for a couple of years. So I thought that was pretty funny. I kind of put two to two together after he told me that. I'm like, that's what happens. They put them in storage and totally forget about them. So I got picked those up for over the weekend. So that was my um, Walmart haul. I kind of I went to two different Walmarts for that stuff. Uh, now most of the clearances are gone, and I kind of missed out on a lot of stuff because I know I want to get the big aircraft because a couple of them had it on clearance for like 40 bucks, and that was an $80 aircraft, I think. The cargo plane, uh, so I kind of missed out on it. But And what can you do? Uh, but that's my Lego haul, a little tiny one over the weekend. Visit a couple of Walmart stores. I don't have any luck with the 24-hour um, Walmarts. Uh, but when I was in this Walmart picking up one of uh, when I was picking up these sets, I ran into a guy. He saw me with the stack. He's like, "Collect Legos." I'm like, "Yeah, I collect," and I sell them on Bricklink. And he was telling me, he's like, "You want to check out um, Goodwill?" I was like, "Goodwill." He's like, "You ever notice when you go to Target that you always have a hard time finding clearance?" I'm like, "Yeah, like I see them when they're on clearance at 30, but I never see them go to 50." He's like, well, the reason why in New England, they don't hit 50. They have, they clearance them down to $30, you know, 30% for a week. After the week, they take all the clearance items off the shelf and they ship them over to Goodwill. And then Goodwill sells them. So he's like, if you see them disappear off the shelf, wait a week, you'll see it up on the shelves on Goodwill. And I was like, I never knew that. He's like, well, because I used to work for Goodwill and I used to work for Target. I'm like, ah, so that's a little food for thought for you guys. Uh, I don't know if they do it everywhere else. And he's telling me that's how they do it in New England. So Target won't clearance things down to 50. They'll give it to Goodwill after they clearance it down to 30 for a week. So Target's up here will clearance to 30 for a week and then ship everything to Goodwill. So I don't know if they sell them to Goodwill or they just donate them to Goodwill. I doubt they donate. They got to sell it for something. So I don't know how that whole thing works, but supposedly that's what he said. So next time I see Clarence's at Target and I see him disappear, I got to check out the Goodwills in the area then. I never even thought about looking at Goodwills. Of course, I never thought about looking at TJ Maxx or Marshalls until Chris on Bricks and the Dollar mentioned it. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's my Lego haul. So see you guys next time.